So this is my favorite uh, jazz album to date, uh, but it was made in like 19, uh, 1977. Uh, it is a phenomenal album, one of the best jazz albums ever made, and it completely revolutionized music as we know it. Um, Jaco Pastoris was uh, the bass player for this band, and he completely reinvented the bass. Um, he said, what? It's not just a regular instrument, uh, it's a lead instrument. So he made a lead instrument, and he started bass solos and stuff like that. And uh, not in this album, I mean, he did in, um, in Weather Report, and he himself did that. But uh, this is their best album, in my opinion. I listen to a lot of them. And, uh, and also other great uh, uh, artists in here. Uh, Wayne Shorter is the saxophone player. Um, I forgot what's his name. Akuna, some Akuna, I forgot his first name. But uh, it's just a really great album. Um, you may know you may know the song Birdland and Teen Town, uh, but it is really good, and I'm happy to have a original press on vinyl. Um, and I think yeah, I bought this online. I, got, I won it in a in a bid for like 99 cents with three dollars shipping, and I was super super duper happy. Uh, and it is a really good album. So to uh, finish it off, I'm going to show you some of the new records I bought from eBay. Um, with my birthday money, um, I didn't buy just video games. I definitely went and splurged on some records. I wouldn't have bought otherwise, unless I definitely was given the money. But um, I'm super happy I bought them, and uh, here they are. This is a band I've been listening to for about uh, about a year now, and uh, they're really good. Um, and I've always wanted this on vinyl, and I found it for a crazy cheap price. Um, it usually goes for the least I've ever seen it, thirty bucks. Even in the stores, in Prince and Record Exchange, and Vintage Vinyl, um, it always goes for about $30. And I saw it online for $15.99 plus like $3 shipping. And I jumped on that faster than like freaking Coyote on Dead Meat. It was, it was awesome. Um, and uh, it's in really, it's sealed. It was sealed, obviously. Uh, but it's Spoon Kill the Moonlight. Uh, they are really good. If you don't know Spoon, they're more um, like indie rock. Uh, but not like indie, like you know, indie, but like good indie rock, like actual musicians and stuff, but uh, they're good. I mean, if you know Spoon, you're gonna know this album. Oh, and uh, a funny thing about this album, um, the music in this was used in the movie uh, Stranger in Fiction with Will Ferrell. If you've ever seen that movie, it's really great. If you haven't, check it out. But this is uh, the soundtrack, so if you ever listen to this, you'll recognize it if you've seen that movie. But, uh, I mean, every song's on, if I, if I was gonna say the songs I like, I'd have to say the whole thing. So just take a look at that, and you'll, you'll see the songs I like. So this next album uh, is insane. It's actually on my turntable right now. I see it's empty. Uh, but it is the Black Keys Rubber Factory. Um, it is amazing. Amazing. You hear me? I said amazing. Uh, it is just great. It takes like combos. It's good. Uh, but yeah, um, the Black Keys are awesome. I'm a big fan of their old stuff. I mean, El Camino, their new album is definitely good. Uh, they keep playing on the radio around me now, so it's like just catching on, and I've been listening to them for like three years now. But I'm super happy to finally get one on vinyl, and this is the album I really wanted on vinyl. Rubber Factory, in my opinion, my opinion is their best album. So uh, I'm happy to get it, and it sounds really good on vinyl, better than I expected. Um, it definitely sounds different, uh, so it is awesome. So this is the best album. I've ever picked up, or I've ever splurged and actually picked up. Um, I picked up another album by the same band that is probably better, but I never thought I'd actually buy this, but I actually just, I started to love it. Um, it is Kings of Leon, Aha Shake Heartbreak. Um, it is their second album. Uh, and if you know me, and you watch all these videos, you're going to see that I really like Kings of Leon. They're old stuff, uh, but every song on this is amazing. It is a double LP with about three songs on each side, so uh, it is great. This is the English version because, uh, I wanted the English version because uh, it has an extra song on it that the American version does not. Um, and it, it costs about 30 bucks, uh, 35 shipping, but uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's, it's 180, 180 grams, so it's pretty heavy and everything. Um, and I'm super happy I got it. I listened to it like four or five times all the way through already. Uh, and it's just really good. And I'm happy I picked that up. But I have some more things that aren't records that are music related that I picked up, and I'm going to show you that now. So I picked something else up for my birthday. Uh, this was actually like two weeks back, uh, or three weeks back already. But um, I 
picked up these Sennheiser headphones. Um, I use these for editing videos, like I'm doing right now as I watch this to myself. Which, I hope that made sense, but you, you, you don't use these for editing videos. But, uh, there's, these are the best headphones I've ever heard, uh, and I own them. Um, I found other headphones and they suck compared to these. Um, uh, they sound great. Um, I mean, I, if, if I, I don't think I could get better headphones, it cost like $200, but my dad had a, he got them sale for like 115 which is like almost half off. I'm super happy to get them, they're like the best thing I've ever had. They sound like crystal clear. And I also got something else that's, that's bigger headphones, I guess you can say. Okay, there it is. It is a new Sony speaker, which is awesome. I actually put an Atari on top of it, just because I have an Atari and it kind of matches the wood grain. Uh, and there's a lamp. But, uh, yeah. They are awesome. I have another one. I'm going to just cut and show you that now. Yeah, that's the other one. Uh, they sound really great. I just hooked them up uh, right now. You can see if I just pan up a little bit, you can see the wire right there. So uh, it's awesome. And I was just actually cutting the wires. You see that thing there? as a wire cutter so uh, yeah they're awesome they sound really good so yeah I finally got some really good uh, standalone uh, floor speakers which I've been really wanting my dad finally broke and gave them to me because he never uses them because he has 15 inch woofer JBLs which are like the best speakers in the world so he finally gave those to me and I'm so happy I love them so much I had these shitty speakers over here and they're gone now because uh, those are a lot better so guys thanks for watching um, I really had fun making this video. It's probably the most fun I've ever had making a video. I don't know why. I'm just pretty happy right now for other reasons besides records. But, um, yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, picked up some really good records. I hope you agree. Um, and, uh, I will see you in, in the next record video, but a lot of videos before that because these are kind of sparse. Um, but, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Tell me if you like any of these records or if you have any. Um, I like when people tell me that they have their stuff I have so it makes me feel cool uh, but uh guys thanks for watching I'm really excited I don't know why it's like four o'clock in the morning but thanks for watching and I will see you next time with another record pickup video peace